on one has been a mainstay of the raw photo editing space. So I was glad when I was able to try out the latest iteration of On One Photo Raw 21. This is my first time using On One, so I was really excited to try it out. So let me talk now about its best features and give you my thoughts on whether you should buy it. So feature number one, reliable photo browsing. On One Photo has an excellent photo browser with similar features to Lightroom. You can browse photos directly from a folder without requiring you to import it into a catalog. On One supports grid view, film strip view, or full view type photo browsing. You can also mark photos with five stars, a heart, and there are multiple ways to sort. You can sort via a rating, date edited, and so forth. On One will save your last edit by creating a text file in the folder you are browsing. So if you're looking for a solid photo browser, On One has got you covered. Number two feature is the simple interface. On One's interface has all the controls laid out without burying it inside menus, which is a real time saver. I had no problems learning the interface without a need for a manual. If you're familiar with Lightroom, On One works in a similar way, so no surprises with regards to the interface. Number three is excellent tone adjustments. The most important thing about a photo editor is the quality of its adjustments. On One does not disappoint. On One's adjustments are characterized by a focus on maintaining contrast and color. Another useful aspect is that there are multiple ways for tone adjustments. You can use its global adjustments under the develop panel or Add a filter which has its own tone adjustment panel. Both panels perform slightly different, so you can choose between the two different adjustments or use them together to edit an image. That's really useful. Feature number four is best in class haze adjustment. On One's controls are excellent, but the one standout feature should be its haze adjustment. It does an uncannily good job of targeting flat and low contrast areas of an image to bring them to life. It really is the best haze adjustment on any photo editor, in my opinion. Number five is AI masks. If there's one thing that makes me go wow, it's On One's AI masks. It's really amazing. All you need to do is scribble over areas which need to be selected or not selected and the AI will use its magic to create the mask. This is really the best implementation of AI in photo editing, I think, and well worth the upgrade in my mind. Feature number six is local adjustments. As you would expect, On One supports local adjustments and layers to make targeted adjustments super simple, especially when you combine it with AI masks. Feature seven is portrait AI. Jumping on the AI bandwagon, On One supports portrait AI similar to what you get in Luminar. While I don't use it that much, for those who need it, you can whiten phases, add contrast to eyes, make eyes larger, redden lips, and so on. I'm not the biggest user of this tool, but I can imagine some photographers who really need it. As you can see, it works pretty well. Those were the really great features, so are there any downsides? So just to be fair, let me talk about some negatives which I hope On One can improve on on their next iteration. On One is really powerful, but it's not perfect. Here are some of the things which I think can be improved in On One 2022. For one, more intelligent shadow adjustments. The shadow adjustments, while great because it maintains nice contrast and color, simply affects too wide a latitude spilling into areas of the image which should not be part of shadows. This is a problem in certain types of images 
because it will require you to use local adjustments and that takes a lot more time and effort. Which brings me to local adjustments. On one advertises the perfect brush. So another con is the unreliable perfect brush. The perfect brush is supposed to detect edges, make selections much more intuitive. However, the edge detection in the perfect brush, which is supposed to work similar to Automask in Lightroom, is simply unreliable and frustrating. Same goes for the Refine Selection tool. It's also not very reliable. Affinity's Refine Selection works more effectively, in my experience. Local adjustment is such an essential part of good raw editors. This has to be a priority for On One. So there you have it, seven powerful features of On One. Do I recommend this? I certainly do. At an $80 USD price, the haze adjustment alone and the AI mask, I think, is worth the price of admission. The effectiveness of its tone adjustments, its solid photo browsing, excellent filters, and layers are powerful features which belie its affordable price. So yes, I recommend On One, but you might ask, is this the best raw photo editor around? Well, I'll be answering that question in a future video when I rank the top raw editors for 2021. So make sure you watch out for that. And if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe and like the video to keep the videos coming. And till the next time, bye.